Video number 174, finding an angle given its circular function value. It says approximate the value of s in the interval 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. It says solve cosine s equals 0.4992. Now, the first thing we want to identify is this. What interval is that? If you don't know that that is, I'm sorry, what quadrant? If you don't know that that is definitely quadrant four, you're going to have to take a look at learning how to create your own unit circle. Okay, you need to do this. You got zero, you got pi over two, one pi, or two, you got one pi over two, two pi over two, which is pi, three pi over two, and then you have four pi over two, which is two pi. So you have 2 pi, 1 pi, 0, pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, which is pi, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, which of course is 2 pi. Now, you're, so therefore you're dealing with this action right here. You're dealing with this interval, qua, this, uh, this uh, quadrant, quadrant 4. That interval, yeah, yeah well, interval quadrant, yeah, so I'm right. Okay, now. Uh, we need to do inverse cosine. I don't know why I wrote this down twice, but I did. We're going to do inverse cosine to solve this. We get 1.0481 when uh, for the reference angle. Now, guys, you need to make sure your calculator is in radian mode. So for the TI-83s and 84s, press mode and go down and make sure radian is highlighted. Why are we working with radians? because the interval has pies in it, okay? If the interval had degrees in it, we would then do inverse cosine, and we would have our calculator in degree mode. So make sure you're in radians whenever the interval is listed with pi. Now, 1.0481 is the reference angle, okay? Now, we know that we're working with what? Quadrant Four. So you're going to subtract this from 2 pi because the reference angle will be subtracted from the horizontal line. Okay, so 2 pi minus this gives us 5.2351. This will be the uh, angle that S is. It's definitely in quadrant 4. Now, another way to do this would be degrees. If you convert this guy over here to degrees, you'll get 60.05. That's the reference angle. And of course, whoop, pew, subtract from 360, angle two, uh, 299.95. So these two values are the same. If they want radians, it's this. If they want degrees, it's that. There you go. Next one, approximate the value of S in the interval uh, pi over three, pi to three, uh, pi over two. Now, where's this? Hopefully you know, quadrant three, right there. So we're gonna do sine s equals negative one half. Now, we're working with sine s equals negative one half, and what we need to do here is, we need to take, remember and understand and know and have memorized the 30, 60 right triangle. If you don't have the 3060 right triangle memorized, you must get the job done. Inverse sine, one over two. Bam. So you gotta have your uh, you gotta have your halves, your root threes, your root two over twos, your ones, those very common 3060 and 45 right triangles. This is definitely one you should know. All we have to worry about is the fact that we're dealing with a 30 degree reference angle. Where are we? Bam, quadrant three. Where's quadrant three? over here it's going to be 30 more than 180 bam that's going to be 210 of course converted to radians 7 pi over 6 bam we're all set last but not least here we go approximate this one's kind of fun approximate the value for s in the interval 0 to 2 pi now <clears throat> in this problem we have tangent squared s now what this really means guys is this just so we haven't seen this notation yet in the videos Tangent squared S means tangent of S quantity squared. That's what it means. So we're going to do the square root of both sides in order to solve this equation. Uh, by the way, we're working with what? The entire interval 
0 to 2 pi, but we're not going to include 2 pi twice. That's why they have it as an open circle, because they want us to start at 0 and stop at 2 pi. Okay, actually stop before you get to 2 pi. Now, plus or minus, you must include the plus or minus because we're taking the square root of both sides in the equation. Bam! We're working with another 30 degree reference angle. You've got to be familiar with, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 60 degree reference angle, bam, actually this part here, I know I have this, I have, I have the rest of it right, this is the only part I messed up on, you'll see, yeah. So anyway, we're working with, definitely working with a 60 degree reference angle, if I knew my 3060s, I'd be in better shape, all right, and therefore, guys, we're working with what? Whenever tangent is positive or negative, so we're working with all four are possible answers, all four quadrants. So 60, 120, 240, 300. All you have to know is the four reference angles and then convert it to radians and bam, you're all set. All right? So you work with pi over three, two pi over three, four pi over three, five pi over three. Those are all what? Three, so therefore they're all 60 degree reference angles. Questions or concerns, gripes, molds, or complaints, bam.